Hi folks, it's Rob from the Brush and Bolt Gun. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint the armour trim from Black Legionnaires. The first colour they're using is Citadel Liberator Gold. Now for this video we're only colouring in the trim for the shoulder pad, just to give an example of how to do this, the armour trim with the shades. So we're going to do a nice even coat of Liberator Gold. I've used this on every single Black Legion model that I've painted so far, so they all have had the same gold treatment just over all the armour trim. That's the first layer finished. Next we're going to be using Citadel Agrax Earth Shade. That's going to be to do the first layer of shade on the, on the shoulder pad. Now I'll do quite a thick layer of this so you can see it's pulled a little bit. That's just my cat come to say hello when I'm recording the audio, which is very nice of it. But yeah, one layer of a Grax Earth shade, quite thick, so you get it pooling in recesses, like so. And then once that's dry, you can see that it's dulled it down nicely and left some nice dark parts where the recesses are. We're now going to use some Citadel Nuln Oil. I'm going to darken that up once again, just to give it a more dirty look. So again, depending on how you want to do the gold, you don't really need to do this null oil layer. I just like it because I like the gold on these Black Legion chaps to look quite quite dirty and grimy. Probably a remnant of painting all those Death Guard. And that's that layer finished. Now we're going to start reapplying the Liberator Gold. Now what we do for this is you're getting a little tiny bit on your brush and you just want to be working it all around the edges. So you want to paint up the edges of all the armour trim give them a nice shine and then start working on the inside edge and just gently gently press that down just so you get the edge gold and the outer edge gold and you want to leave some of the shades in the recesses there now the idea is to try and kind of feather that in so that you're not getting a completely flat line between the liberator gold and the shade you want to kind of try and fade that in a little bit with your brush Now at the end of the video I am going to post a little piece of video showing the finished result on this shoulder pad and also the same technique that I used on Abaddon the Despoiler when I painted it the other month. You can see how altogether when you've painted up all the armour on the Black Legion fellas it does look really really good and it gives a nice kind of almost grimy golden look but it, it looks really quite nice. That's the gold layer there finished. Now we're just going to be adding a little bit of Vallejo Modeler Chrome to the Liberator Gold. We're going to be doing all the edges with this colour. Now as I started painting this I realised there was a few bits where there's a bit too much shade left over when I've done the last layer. So after this one we're going to return to Liberator Gold and paint just a little tiny bit more on it. Just to fill up some of those recess areas and to stop there being such a sharp contrast between the gold and the shade. And when you're painting this layer on with the Liberator Gold and Chrome mix you want to get all the sort of top edges of the ridges to give them a really good shine. You also want to get all the little bolts and the rivets on his armour. 
on the edges where it'll catch the light. I can see the edge of this where the shine from the chrome is really showing through. Really does give a nice shine because the amount of pigment in it. Now we're just going to use a little tiny bit of Citadel Liberator Gold once more, as I said. We're just going to fill in a few of these little gaps where there's a bit too much shade showing. So you're not going over any of the chrome and Liberator Gold mix, you're just going onto those shaded areas. Cut her, attach the brush there. Like so. Now the last colour that I'm going to use is Vallejo Black. Any black will you do for this, so if you're using Citadel or Army Painter, just whichever black you're using. And all you want to be doing is colouring in the shoulder pad, getting the black right up to the armour trim, but without actually going onto it. And I'll just give it a really nice crisp edge and set the armour off. Now as always, if you do happen to go over any of the gold or the black, if you can wipe it off quickly with your thumb, do so. If not, you can just touch up the gold once you finish the black. like so. And that is the finished gold of the shoulder pad. Now as an example of what it looks like on the full miniature, this is the same gold technique but used on a baton. You can see that on his shoulder pads, on his chest there, on his leg armour and on the wing that's poking out of the ground. And that is exactly the same gold technique as I've used here. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media, link below. Thanks very much.